Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as Germany. So, last episode, we finally got involved in the war. Uh, it took us, took us a while to get into it, but really not that bad, I suppose. It could have been much worse, uh, just given the fact that we didn't want to declare war ourselves. So, it could have taken a lot longer for one of the fascist countries or the communist countries to actually start the conflict with our faction. Uh, so, it was a good thing that Japan finally declared war on the Dutch East Indies so that we can get involved in this. Now we need to get the war started with the communists. Uh, and in order to do that, to get them on to try and have this be a defensive war and they attack our faction or somebody we're guaranteeing. And so the way we're going to do that is by guaranteeing Iran, as I talked about uh, previously. So we'll go ahead and do a guarantee on Iran and see if uh, see if the Soviets end up attacking them. We could do the same with, with Afghanistan, I suppose. Uh, but I feel like if they attack one then they're likely to attack all the other ones uh, as well. And they often attack Iran first, so that's what we're just going to do the one for right now. In addition to the going south route, they could also attack Finland. That would get us into the war with the communists as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at our unit name. Uh, so I named the medium tanks Panzer Dragoons, which is based on the, the that Sega game. Uh, but it also fits for the units. You know, they're Panzers, there's tanks. And Dragoons were a type of, of cavalry unit that would... Uh, you know, they would ride on horses to the fight and then would typically dismount and, and then fight as infantry. So I thought it was a fitting name here. Now, as for our 40 width division design, you know, named Jaegers as of right now, what do you guys think of the name Stormtroopers for these? Now, Stormtroopers are, you know, assault troops, shock troopers, and I don't really think that there's necessarily any size associated with them. Some may see them as more elite troops, uh, but yeah, I would say that there's not really necessarily a size associated they could be a large assault group and and shoot shock is often you know shock tactics are often better when you have lots of uh lots of units uh, that are capable of of doing the assault uh so i, I feel, feel like it's fitting uh, but i didn't want anybody thinking that you know maybe it's too uh, of an elite type of name for our, our main division design again it's kind of up to your uh, uh your view of things and, and your opinion but I wanted to hear uh, what you guys thought of that one, since that was a suggestion we had gotten for the 40 width divisions in an earlier episode, several videos ago. And I think it's fitting, and remember, it's, I know it's associated with the Nazis and fascism, but it is actually from Imperial German times. In World War One, Germany used uh, the stormtroopers as well. We could also call them stormmen, uh, that would work as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking for, for that name, and then we'll have all these division designs names. All right, so let's go ahead and continue with the conflict. Uh, we do need to get an admiral for the submarines. I said I was going to appoint him, and then I never did. Uh, so let's go ahead and get him here with his sea wolf attack for that submarine attack. And then we got to get one of these two. And I think we're going to go with the Lancer to get the increased penetration. I think that'd be really useful. And then you could have also have gotten the, the Silent Hunter for the reveal chance. It's less likely that you're going to get revealed when you shoot off your torpedoes. And what's nice about that, then you could get the torpedo hit chance, so it'll be more accurate. Uh, but we're going to go with this one, obviously, since you know we decided to go with the Lancer route. I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, all these are pretty good, though. Like, when I look at all these, I don't see any of them as being, like, a weak, a weak spot here. Yeah, they're all pretty decent. You want to fire torpedoes faster? Do you want to uh, fire them more accurately? All right, so we've got these guys attacking here. I did send the tanks over to this front since we need more units over there. Uh, and we're just continuing to advance all along the front as we see openings. Uh, we'll go and grab that one. I think, yeah, this guy's defending for right now. Uh, so we've got, uh, what is this all about? Okay, so we pulled all those countries in right at the end of the last episode. So that's the reason why we're getting those notifications now. All right, so we got the tanks pushing forward here. Let's just get all of them going to the back here all at once, and they'll kind of fan out once they get down this way. Uh, still trying to get that city taken. Just make sure all our units continue to move forward. And then remember, we have this Italian front as well that we're fighting on. I'm going to take a look see what we've done in, in the channel. Really kind of pay attention to how our, our uh, plane losses are, are going, because we might want to pull out of that region if we start seeing heavy losses. All right, so these guys have moved here. Let's go ahead and go after the next province. Uh, they're still currently defending, so are they. Still trying to get these troops here wrapped up. I uh, don't know that we're going to need all of these units here. Let's have this guy come back over to this front. Just get rid of that one. And I think we have some units coming over to here. It's probably unnecessary. Let me see how we're looking. Yeah, a lot of these guys don't need to move over there. 
So let's have this guy come over to this front. And we're also going to increase the length of this front a bit, since it's our larger front. All right, get some troops moving over here to help out this army, because they are a little bit overstretched. We do have the tanks going to help them out, though. Uh, so it looks like we actually had a battle with our submarines, yep. Uh, they engaged us with their ships. We sunk a convoy, and they were not able to engage us. They probably never even detected us. Uh, we lost two of our own convoys there. there. That was the uh, Those weren't troop convoys, though. They're bringing resources to us. We're going to let that guy go there and just try and get across the river here. There's then all these troops over here. And really try and cut some of these troops off if we can. We are having an attack across the river, but we're doing pretty good there, so I'm not worried about it. Still waiting for those tanks to get down there so we can advance a little bit quicker. Now let's go and continue pushing forward here. And we're going to go and attack that unit that attacked us. All right, let's go and push forward here. And you know what? Let's attack that guy. I think we should be able to win that. And then let's hurry up and get across this river. Shouldn't be too difficult to get the win there. And let's go and push forward here with the tanks. And we'll probably avoid attacking that unit there. Let's attack up this way instead. Start moving towards Warsaw. Try and get Poland to, to capitulate. We'll probably have to take up to maybe right here to get them to capitulate. Uh, it depends really on how much the Soviets advance as well. All right, let's go and go back down here. Looks like we're about to get across the river. There we go. We do have to finish the defense up there. Uh, can we move right here? We cannot. So we'll let that unit finish moving and attempt to try and get him cut off with the rest of them. Got to finish up this defense here before we'll be able to push forward further. We did get the dis uh, dispersed industry four. Let's go ahead and go after the construction four now. Because we're still trying to build up a lot of military factories, so getting some bonuses there would be helpful. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the tanks here going straight over to Riga. And these guys here are going to work on trying to get... Or maybe we'll just go this way. Try and get them capitulated, Lithuania. All right, so that looks good. These tanks here, they could be advancing. Okay, wait a minute. These guys, probably better to go up along here. And then we'll have this unit go this way. All right, excellent. Let's make sure those tanks continue to push forward. And we've got some units cut off here, so let's, well, we don't want to attack across the river. Let's avoid that. We'll attack with these guys instead. And let's hurry up and get across here. Again, try and cut off Warsaw so we can get that taken. And these guys can be going over this way. All right, looking good. Uh, and the Dutch have been pulled in. Apparently, they haven't been pulled in yet into all of the uh, uh, all of the wars that we are in with all the countries, I should say. Still trying to defend here. All right, we are done. Let's go ahead and get across this river now. All right, guess we can't go that way, so we're gonna send a bunch of troops over here then. Be more troops coming down here. Uh, still waiting for that unit to move. We want him to move right into that province there. And we'll try and get him cut off as soon as he's gone. Let me see where he's at right now. About 10 hours. So we're going to just sit here and wait until he leaves. And then, oh, and Lithuania just capitulated. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and push forward there now. Try and cut off the troops that are out here in the far northern part of that province. All right, so these guys are actually attacking units. It is, or maybe across the river, it looks like it could be. Uh, but he is uh, cut off, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, and I guess we'll push into Poland from this direction now. And let's get somebody over here to stop them. All right, so we're going after Riga next, and let's go over here. Make sure we get that victory point. And I guess this guy can help out destroying that unit. Let's go and push forward here with the tanks. And let's just make sure, again, that all the units are moving forward at all times. All right, so let's have this tank move forward here. And this guy will also go that way. Alright, looking good. Yeah, this front is, has been pretty easy so far. Not really surprising. And I think we could use more units down here. Let's just kind of stretch that out a little bit. In fact, you know what? We don't really need the tank over here. I better push forward here. All right, so let's go to back down to Italy and see how things are going here. All right, so still pushing forward there, and this unit just needs to get that one last province wrapped up there. All right, so Lithuania has been called into all the conflicts. It's irrelevant, of course, because they're we're already at conf in conflict with us. But the war continues to expand, 
And there we go. Romania just joined the Anglo-Italian Pact again, as we, we expected they would. Doesn't matter, uh, because they are just about done for. I guess we'll go over to this victory point here. So we'll just have to see when we get into the war with the, the communist. And I don't really want to continue fighting these guys all throughout this territory. And let's make sure he stays on this front here. All right, everybody's pushing forward, and Greece has just joined our faction. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I think there's one common turn country left that might join the faction. Uh, New Zealand. Yeah, that's uh, the last one that might join. So yeah, now Greece is in the faction. Doesn't really change anything at the moment since we weren't at war with the communists yet, which is the entire reason why they're able to join the faction. Uh, so we did get our tank over here, which is fantastic because I really wanted to start pushing forward rapidly here with the tank. Uh, let's go ahead and try and just sweep across the country here to stop France. Okay, can't go that way. We'll have to go this way. To just kind of stop France from taking any further territory. Have that guy go across that way as well. Well, he's going to go down this way. So we're attacking across that river, unfortunately. That is not the best way to do this. Let's attack there instead. We'll pull this back and have this guy come over here to help us out. All right, still waiting some of those mountain troops to get over here. Uh, also trying to wrap this guy up. We probably have far more divisions than necessary here. Let's just get it done so they can go somewhere else. And we could have assigned them somewhere else as well. Go and attack right there. I don't know if that'll, if we'll get there before that unit retreats, but we'll try. And, okay. A lot of this is weird fronts here we just need to get fixed. All right, so he's about to get that done. Let's make sure that these guys here just stay on their current front. Do not need any more units here. Uh, this tank should be able to get it done. Also, yeah, he's already moving to the next area, so I don't want to reassign him. Uh, we have not taken Warsaw yet. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we get that done then. So attack with all these units that aren't across the river. Or don't have to cross the river, I should say. Alright, let's go and grab those provinces. Have we not made any progress down here? Uh, looks like we change up the front just a little bit. Okay. Let's go and dip back down to Italy. See how we're going with that tank unit moving to the south. Looks like he's making good progress. Uh, we're winning there as well, trying to cut those units off. And I think they just, yeah, they just called in New Zealand. And New Zealand has been wrapped up. Uh, the, the Civil War there has been finished up. So there's only one New Zealand now. And uh, they will remain in the Anglo-Italian Pact. So that means there won't be any other common turn countries, I don't think. I guess New Zealand's still around. Uh, but yeah, there, there's no other communist countries that will be joining our, our faction. So this is essentially the faction we have. Uh, unless other countries decide to get involved a bit later. So we did lose three submarines here. Again, I was kind of worried about that with the channel. The channel is kind of a risky area. We'll continue here for now, but we might have to make some adjustments there, guys. Uh, it just basically stop all ships, convoys, submarines, everything from going in the channel. Just until we have a little bit better control there than what we currently have. Uh, let's go and attack this guy here. Should be able to defeat him despite our unit being kind of weak. Uh, looks like he's about to get there. This tank's not doing anything, so let's have him race over to that victory point. See if there's any units sitting around that could be attacking. I have him go all the way to that province there. And this guy's gonna come over here, go towards Lublin. Yeah, a lot of these units are still trying to get down to the, uh, to the front. Uh, we do have two dockyards and four military factories to get assigned. Let's just see what we need military factory wise. Seems that uh, light tanks, artillery, mechanized, those are all still the issues. We're going to need more and more mechanized though. So let's go ahead and put more factories into that. And you know what? We're going to really go hard into these uh, here since I'm going to start you know, building more of those. We can go to get a few more things assigned. I think we have enough going to artillery. And you know what? Probably enough going to light tanks as well. Yeah, they just need to catch up on production. So I think it's fine. Uh, we do need to trade for resources, though. Uh, let's get the dockyard assigned first, but yeah, we definitely need to get some more resources. We're going to get uh, one more going to submarine, one more going to destroyers, and that one will get there as soon as we're done uh, making use of it for repairs. Uh, we can go ahead and stop trading for as much steel since we built up the infrastructure, and I think we just took a bunch of steel provinces from the Polish as well, so that's probably part of the reason why we are much better on uh, that resource. 
But we do need more tungsten, more rubber. Uh, so let's go ahead and see who we want to trade up for this. Uh, Republic of Malaysia is in our faction, but it does require um, convoys in order to trade for that. Is there anybody we don't need convoys for that actually has enough? I don't think so. As you got Burma. They're not really on a side or anything. Yeah, I suppose we'll trade with uh, Burma then. Only need one more, and then for the rubber, uh, we'll trade with Republic of Malaysia, despite the fact that we do need convoys for that. We want to help them out a little bit. Let's just get one thing of rubber. Yeah, that's probably enough for now. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go and see how things are going down here on the Italian front. Still trying to do that attack there. Let's go ahead and get the tank moving to help them out and uh, to speed the process up as well. So this tank is still moving down here. Uh, he needs somebody to help him out uh, on that defense. And let's move this unit here because it looks like we're about to lose that province as well. Uh, we do have the ability to make an adjustment to our division designs, and we're going to continue with the Panzer Dragoons, try and get them finished up because, you know, obviously there's still a lot of changes left to be made here. Uh, let's get them some more mechanized. We'll get them uh, one more mechanized, and then one more medium self-propelled artillery here, and then one more medium tank. And that will likely, oh, yeah, that's definitely enough. Okay, I was about to say, oh, well, we can get one more. Uh, we're just short on the experience. So yeah, just keep on making adjustments to those. Eventually, we can get them out there. Uh, Romania just capitulated. Okay, so it looks like it mostly went to the Soviets. Some of it went to Bulgaria, and the Hungarians got a little bit as well. So this is going to be kind of messed up since we're not at war with the Soviets, so we can't push forward here just yet. I don't think we're at war with the Soviets. Okay, yeah, we're not. I was about to say, did something change there? Did I miss something? Yeah, it's just looking at it wrong. All right, so... All right, they were already in the conflict. It's not a problem. Uh, we're going to try and cut these guys off here, though. It really doesn't matter cutting troops off because they're all about to capitulate pretty soon here, guys. I don't expect it'll, it'll be much longer. Are right, this multiple different fronts? This is multiple different fronts. Okay, so these are the tanks. All right, well, let's go ahead and change this up a little bit. Uh, it looks like all the tanks got put down to this front, or up north to that front, so we're going to change that up. All right, that looks good. As for these units here, I think half of them are up here, and the other half are assigned down here. I suppose that's fine for now. Although all these guys, yeah, we'll keep them all going on to this front. We'll make sure they're all going there. I know we just stopped their movement, but that's fine. I was done with that defense there, so the tanks can hurry up and get into this mountain province before somebody gets over there to defend it. That's the hope, anyway. All right, so he's there, but he can't go any further. He has been stopped. All right, so we'll just have to focus on trying to defend that province. And what the hell just happened? France is still considered democratic. <laughs> So they just joined our faction. Oh, Lord. What happened? How did they become democratic? They were communist. Weren't they? Or they just got high communist support? Oh, Lord. All right. So that's not working properly, guys. I mean, it's working properly. The the, uh, the event and the mod is doing exactly what it's supposed to. taking democratic countries. But, yeah, France is just... Like, why are they still... Weren't they communists? I could have swore they were. Uh, but I guess they weren't. And they're still going communist ever so slowly. And therefore, now they're in our faction. That's great. All right. Well, we can kick them out of the faction, but then they'll just be put right back in. So what we're going to have to do is... uh, It won't cause any problems as long as we don't go to war with the Soviets, essentially. There's no issues that will be caused by that. But yeah, this is... Damn. I almost feel like I should disable that, that event now. Because we don't really need it anymore. The factions are essentially created. We don't have to worry about any other factions being created. All the major powers are in the factions we wanted them to be, with the exception of France now. I almost feel like I want to just disable that event because it's, it's causing issues. And then we'll kick them out of the faction. And then they can rejoin the, uh, uh, the communist faction. <sighs> yeah, that's unfortunate, guys. All right, well, again, nothing really to be done about that right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let these guys join into our conflicts, and we're going to go ahead and shut off the uh, access to here, guys. Uh, but before we do that, let me just make sure that we pull these guys out. This is clearly not going to work. We're just losing too many submarines in the channel, and that's not surprising. Uh, it's very typical, actually. The, the channel's a, a dangerous place. Now, you can see we, we can also see all the invasions of French territory now, or uh, a lot of this isn't French territory, but this here is French territory. So we can see that they're going to do an invasion into Normandy. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's again, there's nothing I can do about it just now. We have to wait till they go communists before we kick them out. 
And they should be going communist. Again, I'm really surprised that they haven't yet. I, I thought they were. But I guess that wasn't the case. The thing is, is I'm not really seeing any uh, bonus for communism here. Maybe they just haven't gone far enough down their, uh, their tree yet. That's one of the problems with these, uh, a lot of these newer trees is that they, yeah, they just have all kinds of issues because they take so long to get through because they're massive focus trees. So it's like 1943, 1944 when you're getting through some of the important focuses, especially as the AI, because they have a lot of difficulty like picking the right focuses to go down. And so yeah, here you are in 1941, May 1941, they're still not the uh, ideology that we want them to be. It's just really frustrating. Uh, but yeah, again, there's nothing I can do about it while we have this mod enabled. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't cause any problems. It clearly has, though. All right, so that's that's a real bummer. Again, we'll fix it. We'll make sure we fight France. And uh, if worse comes to worse, I can always create another event to... Okay, and Serbia has joined in the conflict. I always create another event to, to fix any issues. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that these troops stay on this front here. All right, he's going that way. That's fine. Uh, but let's make sure he's on the front. And then he can go that way. And now let's go ahead and send another tank unit up here. And let's go ahead and push forward here with these tanks. Right, just kind of fill in some of these uh, openings here. And just try and take as much territory from the Soviets as we can. So we want to get up to, like, the front here and stop them from advancing. Let's go ahead and push forward here with these units. Going across the river there, but we're winning, so might as well keep it going. That'll cut off all the units here. And so, yeah, just a really weird situation with France temporarily. And we are having so much trouble taking Danzig because they keep sending units here. Yeah, they just keep sending more and more units. They're coming from other fronts, I think, because uh, a lot of these are Polish units. So, yeah, I think they're coming from other areas. Uh, this is actually where their capital is, so all the units here are technically cut off from supply. Uh, we did get another military factory. Let's go ahead and get this placed. I really think we need to focus on building the Air Force a bit more. Uh, we are not building it fast enough, frankly. So let's put these into planes, guys. Uh, just put all of our uh, future factories for some time into the into the planes. Uh, we do have some aluminum to spare, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But rubber is going to continue being a problem, so we're going to trade. We'll trade with the Dutch East Indies for one. Kind of spread out our civilian factories. Spread out the love a little bit. Let's bring that unit over here. And let's see how we're doing down here in Italy. All right, so still not really able to advance just yet. Let's try attacking here. And there we go. That is now open. Uh, so what we should do is instead of having that guy go, let's have him go over to here. To lock those units down so the tank can safely get over to this province here. And yeah, just trying to cut them off there. Having a lot of trouble getting across here because they just keep on pumping units right there. Uh, Poland just capitulated. Excellent. Let's go and attack here now. Okay, so with that, uh, Danzig's now only defended by one Lithuanian unit, so should be able to get that wrapped up soon. Uh, most of it went to us, it looks like. Yeah, all of it went to us, as we did most of the work when it came to getting them defeated. Uh, so now we need to get the British and Italian divisions that are just sitting here, get them destroyed. And get the rest of this little bit of territory here as well. Alright, so yeah, all these guys here, if they're not already, yeah, make sure they're going up to that front there. Alright, fantastic. So Poland's been knocked out of the war very easily, uh, as we expected it to be. Who is just, is there still people not call, called into all the, the wars? Might need to look at specific conflicts here. Let's see if there's anybody that's not called in yet. Yeah, there's a few. I'm going to call the United States in. All right, they should accept that. All right, so remember, just locking those units down so the tank can get over to here. And then we're gonna also attack right there in Florence. All right, and I still have not won there, man. That has been so ineffective, uh, trying to get across here. Which is interesting, because I don't think it shouldn't be attacking across the river, so no river penalty there, no terrain penalties. And yet we've still had quite a few difficulties trying to get that done. Uh, so we want to get here before the Soviets do. This is the, the new Polish capital. Same thing with here, just trying to get here before the Soviets get all this territory taken. Just kind of cut them off from getting anything else is, is the idea here. 
Alright, so yeah, we'll help out on that battle. Uh, let's go ahead and attack right there. And with these guys here, let's go push them forward up this way. Alright, so all the units will be going up to that front. And we're just going to have to fix the situation with France, I suppose. Uh, why did this guy stop? He must have got defeated. And this guy here is going to go ahead and continue pushing forward, grabbing up all the ports, and then just kind of racing across to grab these ports here. Not the best unit for doing it. Better to have a tank down here, but we do not have a lot of tanks on the Italian front. In fact, I almost want to move a few of these tanks down there. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we wrapped up this here. So yeah, Danzig is now taken. Uh, let's go ahead and get any tanks that are down in the southern area here. And let's move them onto the Italian front. Just so we can get moving down here a little bit quicker. Alright, we also probably want to go ahead and delete the uh, purple armies. Offensive line, give him another one. Alright. So I'm just trying to wrap this up here so we can focus solely on the Italian front. Don't know if we're going to get there before the Soviets. Maybe. We'll see. Should get that before the Soviets, though. Might even be able to get there before them since we have a tank unit while they're using infantry. Alright, so that's looking good. Uh, with these guys here, we should probably have them on the Soviet front. Now, I know that this is going to be an incredibly wide front. Obviously, they can't defend the entire thing. We'll need to make adjustments there a bit later as we get more units. I would just have somebody over on this front, I think would be wise. Alright, so we got those wins there. Uh, the Orange Army. They can come down to the, the Belgian front, I suppose. Or, no, no, no. I forgot. These guys are our winter guys. So we're going to keep them on the eastern front. So they'll they'll split the front with that blue army. Uh, so let's give them the Fortress Buster. I think we'll have Manstein down here. And then we'll have him up here. Covering this front. With the Soviets. I suppose for right now, let's have them all set to join that province. And then we'll just bring this front down some. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at these battles that have happened in the channel. Um, I never did cut off the axis here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Block axis so we stop losing. I mean, the submarines are supposed to already be gone, but apparently they're still in there. And we have taken massive submarine losses, guys. Wow. Alright, so that wasn't that surprising. Uh, we knew the channel was going to be dangerous, but I didn't know it was going to happen that quickly. We lost, like, the majority of our submarine force, I think. Yeah, we still have a few left, but yeah, it's not very many, guys. Not many. Alright, well, let's go ahead and have these guys... We're going to try and merge some of these. Oh, uh, he won't be able to do that while they're in battle, so we'll have to wait. Luckily, the majority of those sh submarines that were lost were the old ones, but still. That's a lot of submarines lost, guys. Alright, let's make sure that the tanks stay on this front here. We don't need them coming down to that one. And let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. We have cut the, the two, uh, cut Italy in two. And going across that way is not going to work, so we're just going to go after that province instead. And going after Florence apparently isn't going to work either. Alright, so we need to get this wrapped up here. And we do want to get credit for it, so we don't want to have like too few divisions here. Let's make sure they stay here, and I think we're going to avoid, I guess we'll keep them as is. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's give them a few more units, though. I feel like they don't have quite enough here. Uh, let's give them one more mountain unit here. Let's kind of split it 12 and 12, so we can try and get this wrapped up here. Uh, we do need to get a unit over to here, because you see that they're about to reconnect it. In fact, we should probably try and stop them. I don't know how effective that is going to be. It looks like not very effective at all. Uh, and we have more naval battles to look at. We sunk some convoys there, uh, sunk a submarine as well. Uh, so far, not very effective at bombing the British fleet. Not effective at all. We haven't seen that. Uh, now, they can't get through here. I was expecting that there might have already been some here, British ships, I mean, uh, from before we were at war. But once we went to war, they're not able to get into the Baltic. But we are bombing them there and here. And so far, we haven't really seen us doing any damage to those ships. We were, we're able to get to that province for the Soviets, so that's nice. Now let's go and push forward up here now. And just kind of continue. It looks like all these guys are moving to the far province. I love how they do that. They go to the really far province. 
It's like a uh, really far front, I should say. It's like, go to the one that's closest to you, man. Alright. So yeah, I just need to get this front sorted out here. Uh, Florence is now open. There's nobody there, but yeah, I can't take advantage of that until we get this unit into that province, which he'll be there in hours. There we go. Alright, so now let's go and attack Florence, though it looks like somebody did get there now, so we're going to have to wait. And we did finish up the research uh, for the uh, uh, the Leopard here, which means we need to get the self-propelled self model. And then go ahead and get these guys changed up to the Light Tank 3s, the Leopards. Alright, excellent. So we'll have better Light Tanks out there. Uh, much faster light tanks as well. I don't know if that'll be reflected here yet. Yeah, it might not be reflected here yet, but yeah, they should be faster than 12 kilometers. We'll have to see once we get like a unit that has, you know, a bunch of them, if they are in fact faster. I'm gonna get a couple more of these guys going. I'm gonna deploy that one. We'll see if any of these are done training. There are, there are several of them that are currently done training. Uh, let's go and put them on to, see how we wanna do this. Uh, we wanna get rid of this front here. And then put more units onto this front, and then we'll extend it out. Yeah, that's how we'll do that. Uh, the purple army still needs two units. So we could send a couple more over that way. And yeah, just trying to get this wrapped up here, guys. So let's have everybody attacking here. Make sure that we get control of these provinces rather than... Oops. Oh lord. <laughs> Alright, now this guy needs to do the same. Alright, excellent. And then that'll allow us to go grab those provinces. Alright, just trying to take as much of that territory as can stop the Soviets from getting control of it. The Italians have a lot of units up on this front here. So nothing really happening there. Don't know if we'll be able to take that port province. I guess we'll see. We'll try and attack across this way. Looks like that might work. And we're going to send another unit over here. This is wide open, so let's just get some units grabbing it for us. Uh, that unit did get cut off, unfortunately. Uh, the tank unit. Yeah, he got cut off. All right, well, we can easily reconnect him. Uh, I think I just moved. Oh, okay, he was in the purple army. That's fine. All right, so we're going to try and take that, that province there. See if we can't get there before him. He'll be there in one hour, so we will not. We don't have any supplies, so let's just grab that province. And essentially, we need to get him reconnected now. Uh, this unit's a little bit too weak to do it, though. All right. So yeah, I really want to get this here wrapped it up, and we're just about done with it. Yeah, very, very close now. Having it finished. And we don't need this front. All right, so he's going to grab that for us. So let's just have this unit here take out all this territory. Get that into our hands. They have not capitulated yet because we don't have their uh, their capital. All right. All right, so this is a failed attack. Let's just instead oops, attack over here. And I'm going to try and reconnect by grabbing room. All right, let's have this guy go here. They're going to take that port province there. Still trying to get these connected, though, so let's attack those guys just to lock them down temporarily. Yeah, we gotta get this redone here, and it looks like somebody else in New Zealand joined the faction, but remember, that's the weekend New Zealand. Uh, that has no no territory. I don't think they have any territory. So yeah, they're currently uh, an exiled government. It doesn't really have much effect there. We did lose another submarine. Uh, we are sinking convoys. I don't know if these are all like freight convoys, or if any of them are troop convoys. We sunk seven Japanese convoys, and I, I'm assuming uh, that those were troops that were coming into Europe. Uh, so probably a good thing there. Uh, yeah, it does look like a lot of these are troop convoys. Well, those ones are freight ones. As are those. So the British ones are probably freight convoys. But yeah, still helpful. Kind of cutting off some of their supplies and resources. Uh, so we do have some military factories. I'm just going to get these assigned. And let me just see how we're doing on infantry equipment. Uh, I know we have quite a bit. Yeah, we got a lot of it. So we'll just keep those three factories there for trying to update the equipment. And, yeah, I do need more mechanized and artillery. All right, well, let's put it into the, the mechanized. Again, I feel like 15 factories is good for the artillery. We can pull back on the anti-tanks, though. And then, you know what? Let's put more into the light tanks. Especially because we have newer ones. Uh, we are short on steel again. 
All right, well, let's go and step up what we're trained for with the, uh, the Swedish. And we should probably build more infrastructure up uh, in these areas where we have some, some steel to get. Now, this would all be occupied territory, which reminds me we need to change up the division designs for the, the cab units. Uh, we can get more steel there. Some aluminum we had there, not much, but we'll get it. And then all the occupied territory, remember you're not going to get all the resources from that, so you typically want to build in your own territory first. Your core territory. And I suppose we could take a look at those cab units and see if we want to make some adjustments to them. Uh, did we ever get the the MHEs? We did not. Alright, well this will get us some guns if we remove the guns from these guys, because they don't, they don't need guns. And we could also give them another cab unit here. Uh, that would be in the uh, mobile battalions. Give them another cab unit here. Alright, so that's what we're going to save it as. And we still need to get the, the MPs, so change the recon unit over to the MPs. But we have not researched those yet, so that's not really an option. Uh, but that'll give us some of our guns back that we had in the cab units. Uh, so yeah, you can see that the shortages are just about solved now. Alright, so now this is all taken over. We don't need that unit to go over there. So let's go ahead and fix these fronts now. Uh, so what we want... Is, you know, all this army is going to be on this front here, but we're going to extend them to cover, to, to meet that that other uh, blue army there. And so yeah, they're going to cover all this, and then the tank unit is just going to come down and help with the uh, the Italian front. So just send them all down there, I think. Uh, with the exception of this guy, obviously. Oh, he's a purple unit. Okay. All right, so filling that in there, let's go ahead and actually attack them, kind of help out a little bit. So yeah, we can focus exclusively now on the uh, right. Italian front. All right, so let's just give them an order here and also get rid of this so nobody comes popping up here. All right, excellent. So that's all taken care of, and now we can focus on the, the Italian front. And just, I don't know when the hell these guys are going to go communist. I almost want to help them <laughs> by uh, using a mission to get the communism ticked up there. Uh, we can always do that. It's kind of weird to use an operative to have them go for an ideology different than your own, but... Okay, uh, India is in our faction now? No, they're not in our faction. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Ah, I should have read that a little bit better. Okay, uh, I'm guessing what happened was that the Anglo-Italian Pact pulled India in. I think that's what they're they're saying there. Um, he's already going partially there, but we're going to go this way and have the tanks instead come over towards Rome. I think that's a better way of doing it. Uh, we can go in and attack Florence now. We're trying to attack Florence. We need to get these guys cut off here. Having some difficulty with that, though. Yeah. You see that there's not very many areas where we can win here, but we might be able to win right there. We'll do an attack there, and then maybe just try and help out on this defense here. Yeah, help that defense out. Uh, Florence does look like it's going to be a failure, so let's go and send this unit over there to help them. And getting more units down here I think would probably be useful. Alright, so let's go and continue pushing forward here. There's just not enough units to uh, stop us. Let's actually use a tank along each coastline here, guys. Push forward all the way down to that port. Well, this guy here will be pushing down to Naples. All right, excellent. Yeah, that's looking good. Uh, this is the only area that's going to take a little while to get finished up here, just because there's a lot of Italian divisions here, and they're also pushing forward here as we're, we're losing, currently losing territory. And it's kind of hard to tell which front is which. Uh, let's get these guys moving over here. Stop them from pushing any further south. Uh, we did get our first, our first uh, naval doctrine, and we're going to continue going down these. And I almost want to get the submarine one first, just because those are the main ones out there that are currently fighting. Getting the uh, torpedo reveal chance reduction would be helpful, as would the surface detection. So yeah, we're going to knock that out. And let's see what our submarines have done out there. They sunk some convoys without getting sunk themselves. So that's what we want to see. All right, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, this here is not going to work, so might as well stop that. And then we're going to have this infantry unit go down to Naples, I suppose. 
And yeah, we don't have enough units to defend all the territory, so that's the problem right now. We did finish up that defense, so don't need those guys attack anymore. This offensive will not work, but it should work against just the cav unit. We see more units are coming down to help them. Uh, let's go ahead and stop those guys from attacking. And this tank unit has been very, very effective here. Nobody there to stop them. So yeah, the southern front are, is going well here. Here in the northern front, though, just not really doing anything. Uh, this guy can support the attack on Florence. That's a nice key victory point, so it'd be useful to get that. Let's keep these guys here. Send them off after that airbase. Uh, speaking of air bases, we could be moving more planes down here because you see that we do not have control of this region here. Uh, so yeah, let's go to move probably some of the planes from up here. Move like uh, some fighters and some close air support down to this area. Which really speed up our units, help us out some, uh, slow down their units I should say. Doesn't really speed ours up. Uh, yeah, let's just send a bunch of fighters down here. Though, I do want to send one fighter wing it looks like this is what we got down to the English Channel since we're still having difficulty there. You can see it's uh, in the yellow. All right, and then with the close air support, we could put probably put most of these into this one. So I've got us up to 600. So let's go ahead and do with the last one. Move them on over to here. All right, excellent. Yeah, that looks good. So I think that's all the planes assigned. Might have some more in the stockpile, but we'll just leave them there for now. All right, so a lot of these require us to attack across the river, which I'm not terribly interested in doing. So we'll just attack right here. Yeah, we won't attack that unit even though he's really weak. And uh, this unit, I kind of want to have stay here, but I don't think it's gonna gonna happen because he's trying to fill in this uh, area that's nobody's that. Uh, so this tank unit has taken Naples. Fantastic, man. All right, so now yeah, that guy's wrapping that up. Let's have this guy push all the way down here as far as he can get. And then we're gonna work on trying to cut those units off right there, though I think this here would end up cutting them off. Yeah, here in the north has been pretty messy. Just haven't had enough units up here. Uh, but I think it's a good thing to get the south wrapped up while we can. All right, so let's go and start pushing forward here now. This guy's really, really weak. Oh shoot, this is not. All right, so he needs a, a new front here. All right, so we'll put him on new front there. And then let's go and try and help him out here. And we'll attack with this unit as well. Just try and get this done. All right, so we have successfully moved across the river. Just kind of reducing their territory here. But this unit here is not winning. So we'll just pull that back for now. Let that guy get out of there. He could have defeated the cab division on his own, but yeah, he couldn't defeat them both. And we do have dockyards and military factories that we probably seized from the Italians. So let's go and get these assigned. And get more medium tanks. Always helpful so we can get more of those deployed as we uh, use that army experience to finish up those division designs. As for the dockyards, see where we want to put these. I feel like maybe putting them into the attack cruisers. Yeah, I don't like our cruiser situation. So yeah, we're going to put these into attack cruisers. And any further ones we get, we'll go into uh, submarines and, and destroyers. All right, fantastic. And you know what? We have enough convoys. We can pull back on the convoy production. We are short on steel, so that's causing us some problems. We'll just have to continue trading for these with... Uh, we'll continue trading with Sweden, I suppose, until they don't have any more for us. And that's good enough. Uh, with the chromium, again, just giving everything we got to our allies. Uh, none of these guys are friends. Macedonia. I'll trade with them. All right, so that looks good for now. Remember, we're building up the infrastructure in many of these conquered areas, so that'll get us some more steel, kind of fix some of those issues. All right, let's go to support with these units here, see if we can't push forward there. Uh, frankly, we just don't have enough units for, for pushing forward. Uh, we're able to cut this unit off, so that's excellent. Let's go and try and get them destroyed now. And again, just try and get the win there. That'll cut off those three troops. And there we go. Italy has capitulated. Great news. Um, since they're in our faction, we could try and get more of Italy from them, but they're not willing to give us, give us anything right now. All right, so we'll probably want to create a front up on here. All of this did go into our hands. Probably not going to be able to do naval invasions across the Mediterranean right now. Yeah, I don't expect that will be successful. And lots of invasions in Asia here. 
I don't know if these are Japanese invasions or British invasions. That could be either. I would assume Japanese. But yeah, none of these are going to affect us. They're all in Asia or France. That yeah, doesn't affect us. Uh, having good success here, sinking a few convoys here and there. Mostly British convoys. Again, we saw that a lot of those were uh, their supplies, their resources. All right, so now what we want to do is get the front set up for the war with France. And what I think we're probably going to do is we're just going to have to wait to go to war with the communists until after France is fully communist. But again, they're not moving that way. I'm not entirely sure why they're not. Uh, let's just take a look at the situation here. All right, so they are going down that branch. It's just taking them time. This would make the communists the ruling party. So this is what we were waiting on, guys. It's, it's 41 days. So after 41 days, uh, we'll we'll fix the situation here, uh, which we could do by just like, well, you might not be able to kick them from the faction until yeah until a certain time. Can't kick them out until August. All right. So that's unfortunate. Again, having some issues because of countries not going the direction they're supposed to. Uh, we never did set this up though, so let's go and do that. Let's go and set up a front for the purple army and give them offensive line. We do have to help take in, and well, maybe that's already been taken out. Uh, yeah, Albania has already been taken out. Uh, that is in, oh, that's in Soviet hands now. So the Soviets took that out. All right, so we do have a front in Albania that somebody will have to fight on. Uh, so for the tanks here, I think we'll probably want to use them on the Eastern front, uh, but we could use them to wipe out uh, France quickly as well. We'll probably have to split this unless we can get more tanks built in time. All right. Yeah, it might be what we end up doing. All right, well, for right now, let's go ahead and delete all their orders that they might have and then have them move to Berlin as we had them before oh, until I figure out where exactly we're going to put these guys because we don't have any more fronts with the Vashish right now. Uh, the, the next thing we would do with them is, is it made written, uh, but that's obviously not something we could do just yet. We do not control the seas, not even remotely, nor do we control the skies. So we're going to be a bit limited on that front. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're building up this army since they're going to extend across the entire front here. And actually, right. let's go ahead and take some of the troops that are here uh, we can do one tank unit, put them over here. Uh, also, we're going to want to get these guys training since they're not doing anything. And you see they did lose some of their experience, or a few of the units lost some of their experience. Yeah, just get all these guys training up. All right, fantastic. And we're just going to take some more of these purple army divisions and uh, put them onto this front here. And, you know, we'll do one of these tank units into this front as well. All right, so that gets them up to 16 divisions, 19 down here. Uh, so most of the divisions that are training will be moved into this army. All right, so I just get them all moved around for that French front for when we go to war with them. Uh, the purple army might not all be assigned here, so we need to fix that. It's likely due to attrition issues, uh, supply problems. Uh, they don't want to, to go through here. Just too many units here, I guess. Well, a lot of units should be moving out. Like, all these French units should move out of here now. Because they don't see us as a threat. And I almost feel like we got to have, like, a house rule or something to not invade their territory. Well, I guess they have a little bit of time after we uh, kick them out of the faction. Uh, we do have another operative that can be recruited. Uh, I think that's because France joined with the New Zealand. And so we might end up losing them. We have one with a British nationality. Oh, nice. Got some Americans as well, and some French recruits. We're going to take the, the the British guy, Patrick. He's tough, a tough commando. So I think he'd be our, our best choice here. So still doing the mission there. Uh, let's go ahead and see where we might want to put this operative here. I mean, he's a, a British operative, so he should be clearly be in Britain. Uh, we could get that intel a little bit higher, so let's go ahead and put another guy over there. And uh, still trying to steal that British tech. The naval tech. Uh, the S Swedish did lose three submarines there. Uh, we also need to get more sh uh, troops over here because this is probably not fully defended. Uh, looks like it is just fully defended. Yeah, like we might j have just enough divisions there. 
uh, CAM modify our government and go ahead and get the last of the military high command. We could also change up our conscription laws since we are starting to run a little bit low on the manpower here. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. It takes a little while to build it up. Let's get the extensive. It does increase training time a little bit. That's all right. Let's see what we sunk over here. Just another convoy, but our side did lose a submarine. Sunk four Japanese convoys there. And again, I think the Japanese convoys are probably troops. Uh, we lost another submarine there, unfortunately. Another one there. Oh, good God. Yeah, we're definitely taking some submarine losses here, guys. We barely have any left. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. We might have to, like, pull the submarines back. Because we're losing them, losing them even outside the English Channel. Now, you know, you're going to lose submarines. That's just part of the game, man. Uh, so that's not surprising at all that we're taking some submarine losses, but we don't want to lose too many of them. Now, I don't think we have anything to do until we get control of the seas here. And I think we're going to move into this zone soon. As soon as we have enough bombers here to justify it. I suppose you don't need the bombers here anymore until we go back to war with the Soviets. So what we can do is now have all of our bombers focus on this region here. And this is where we would attempt to engage them initially. Uh, also put maybe some over here. Let's put one right there. And then these guys will go over here. And uh, see if we can't have a little bit more success in the Eastern North Sea. And then we'd want to move our fleet over there. Let's take a look how they're doing here. Yeah, we might want to have them come over to this area now. Let's see if we have any more bombers to move over there first, though. In our stockpile. Because we want to have as many naval bombers as possible. I think we're losing too many. Again, I, I think the English Channel is just not uh, working for us. How many planes do they have there? We have a similar number, so we might be able to contend with them. If we just move some of the fighters that we have over here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get more fighters into here. To try and contend in the English Channel. Now we can use the French air bases. But I'm, again, I'm just acting as if French, the French are not an ally. I think that's the best way to do it. Could start using close air support for naval bombing as well. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. Because we don't really have anybody to fight at the moment. Until we go to war with the communists. Which we can't do until we fix this French issue. So let's go to move all the close air support. Uh, these are tactical bombers, so we can actually move them back a little bit. And yeah, just start having them do the, uh, the naval strike instead. Alright, so they'll do naval strike there. We could also try doing a little bit of uh, port strikes. We'll see how that goes. We actually have to damage the ships before we can do that. And then with the rest of these, let's move them over to here. And they're going to be doing the uh, naval strike as well. And then these fighters. Uh, we don't have any fighters over here right now. Alright, excellent. Alright, so that looks good. Just really focus on the naval war. Uh, could do bombings here in the Mediterranean as well. But I don't think the British have access here. No, they don't. The Italians still have their fleet out there, I guess. And, you know, I guess the British could have a fleet out there. I suppose we do want to bring some naval bombers down there. Let me see how many we have. We have a lot of closed air support, so let's move the closed air support down there. We don't really need this many here. So let's do this closed air support there. And then maybe one from over here. And this will be this guy. And he will bomb, I think, right here. Just see if you can't find any uh, Italian or British ships to, to sink or do a little bit of damage to. Damn, lost four submarines for four convoys. It's just not a good trade-off at all. Uh, so, let's, well, we can't merge them because they're currently in battle. Again, I feel like we're going to need to pull back here, guys. Uh, pull the submarines. Let's go ahead and do that now because we're just taking extraordinarily, extraordinarily high losses for the submarines. So, I just kind of focus on this area where we have a little bit more uh, ability to, to win those convoy battles. What's hurting us, I think, is perhaps the... Uh, the British fleet. And we're just going to let them continue to do their invasions of France. We can have whatever success there they want. I'm not going to help defend French territory. Uh, so we are starting to see us bombing their fleet a bit more now. Yeah, a lot more success here. Doing a little bit of damage to them. All right, excellent. So that's what I want to see, guys. Starting to do some damage to the, the, the uh, British fleet. 
All right, do a little bit of damage to that Italian fleet down there as well. Just kind of focus on the na the air and naval war for right now until we go to war with the communists. Losing a lot of planes through here. We got to pay attention to those, those plane casualties. Could find ourselves in a position where we don't have any naval bombers or any fighters to replace the uh, losses. Sunk a destroyer there. Okay, so I think that's... And two more. So finally, we're seeing some success here, guys. Uh, those were the first three bit, uh, British ships that we sunk that, you know, weren't convoys, of course. So yeah, seeing some success, guys. All right, we got some more military factories. Let's go to get these assigned. Let's see uh, if there's any uh, shortages that I'm not taking into account. I mean, anti-air is pretty good. Our artillery is doing much, much better now. Uh, everything is is essentially doing much better. Yeah, we're in a much better position overall. So I think we really need to focus on plane production. So I just really start getting a lot of planes here, guys. And uh, continue trading, although it doesn't look like we can get enough from the Swedes, so we're going to have to trade with somebody else. Let's trade with the Americans using convoys. Uh, let's trade with Czechoslovakia instead. All right, excellent. Another destroyer sunk there. Uh, so those little destroyers are pretty easy to sink. Also easy to produce, so not doing much there, but yeah, it's, it's helpful. Try and get as many of those sunk as we can. Uh, the French should be able to wrap up that invasion, I expect. Yeah, shouldn't be too much of an issue. The French have no front that they had to worry about now. And I, th I think it's in August is when we can kick them out of the faction. And they should have gone, started going communist. They should be communist now. Uh, so we did get the light self-propelled artillery. So therefore, we're done with the light tanks. Uh, completely done there. Well, I think we should probably get those MPs. Because we are actually starting to use some manpower for garrisons here. You can see we're at 97.5 thousand. Uh, so yeah, I think it would uh, be good to get MPs into the into the cab unit. Uh, also, we need to update that light self-propelled artillery, so let's go ahead and do that. And we will spend this experience on those Panzer Dragoons to try and get them changed up a little bit more. So yeah, get some more of these medium tanks done here, which means all those light tanks will be going back into the stockpile. And I guess we'll just finish with the, the light tanks, get that done. Uh, so yeah, that'll reduce the number of light tanks that we need quite a bit. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm sure we're going to find ourselves pretty short on the medium tanks now. You know what? It's really not that bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, and then we're, we're back in the surplus now for light tanks. So we could probably change this up and go down to 15 factories for the, uh, the light tanks. And then step up the uh, medium tanks up to 15. We're gonna want more of these medium self-propelled artillery and more of the mechanized. Just gotta go through this, change things so that we uh, don't need to come back in here for a little while. Yeah, that looks good. Now we are gonna be short on rubber. So let's go and trade for a little bit more. And you know, we'll keep that going, that's fine. Uh, let's see what our factories are doing. Cause there's a lot of repairs that are gonna need to be made. As you can see here, we're gonna tick those up at the top so they'll be the first thing to get repaired. And then, yeah, just kind of focus on getting some of the uh, infrastructure up here for the resources. A lot, like, high resource areas. Uh, yeah, we saw we can get a, a little bit of aluminum there. Probably not worth it. Yeah, there's only one there. All right, so I think that's it for the infrastructure. So we're just going to want to go for more military factories. Let me make sure that we have radar looking good. We could build radar down here. Yeah, let's build radar down here. Help us out in the Mediterranean. And just military factories now. Build them on all these high production locations. And then I did forget the tra uh, trade for the fuel. So let's go ahead and do that. A couple more factories where it's see how that ends up looking. So we'll go through all of the uh, naval battles here. See what we sunk. Just another destroyer. Losing some planes here, of course. So we'll have to make sure that uh, we don't find ourselves short on naval bombers. Now, most of those are close air support. In fact, we could even get another wing of close air support out there for naval bombing. So we'll want to do that. Uh, remember, we can't pull the French out of the faction until the 24th of August. So about uh, less than two months away. About a month and a half away. Uh, we'll be able to pull the French out of the faction. And they are... Damn, they're still, they haven't done the force of the issue yet. This should be done uh, by then. Uh, so then they'll be communist. 
and then they'll get put back into the common turn and then we can go to war with the common turn guys because yeah we don't have anything to do land battle wise unless we weren't wanting to do an invasion of uh the british empire uh to invade their the homeland here but again i don't know how well that would work because we don't control the seas at all so i don't think we'll be able to do it just yet and uh the other thing is that we can now move our our fleet we can move our fleet out Put these guys into, are these new subs? These are new subs. Okay, so we'll have to get a different task force for them. Uh, but yeah, what we can do is go ahead and move these guys over to here now. And we'll start patrolling right there. And we'll have naval bomber support or, or close air support using uh, the naval bomb mission, naval bomber mission. And see if we can't engage the British fleet here on the Eastern North Sea where it will favor us. So that's the idea. Uh, let me make sure we have some tactical bombers here. Yeah, we do. Uh, we'll make sure that we have tactical bombers so they can reach the entire region. So even if we fight up here in the north, we'll get support. We could also use their air base, uh, the Norwegian air base too. So that we have better support up here in the north. And yeah, this is where we'll try and fight the British fleet, guys. Uh, where we have 600 bombers to help us out. And see if we can't, can't get a, a favorable battle there. Uh, so let's go and take a look at the casualties and then we'll be ending the episode here. See how things went in our invasions of Poland and Italy. We only lost 15,000 men. 13.3 uh, of that was to the Italians. They're a little bit more difficult. Uh, the Polish only killed 1.3 thousand. Uh, a little bit of casualties from some of the other countries involved. Not bad, though. Uh, France has taken 430,000 casualties. The U.S. has taken 90,000. Most of that to the Japanese, so it's not going well for them. Uh, the Greeks, 64,000. Most of that to the Italians. Malaysia, 40,000 to the Japanese. So lots of casualties here, guys. Soviets, 1.84 million. Almost all of that to Poland. Wow, or I guess half of it to Poland. 233,000 from the Japanese, 230,000 for Romania, 132,000 for the British. Soviets are, are taking a lot of casualties, guys. They're having some, some difficulty, but they got plenty of manpower to, to utilize. But yeah, just a lot of casualties in general from the common turn. 3.07 million. Ours is 738, but remember once France leaves, we'll be at 300 something thousand, and then they go up to, uh, you know, like 3.5 million. Uh, over here on the Anglo-Italian Pact, our enemy, 2.9 million casualties total, so less than the common turn. Uh, Poland lost 650,000. We killed 185,000 of that for only 1,000 of our own. That is an insane kill-death ratio. 1,000 casualties for 185,000 kills. Yeah, that is ridiculous. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like that. That is crazy. That's like a 185 kill-death ratio. <laughs> that is quite a bit. Uh, we also have... Uh, Lithuania, where we killed 18,000. Estonia, 10,000. Romania, we killed... Uh, we didn't fight them. So yeah, we didn't do any casualties. The Romanians, but they take a 328,000 casualties. The Japanese, 450,000. That's quite a bit for them. And uh, we didn't do any of that to them. We didn't really, really fight them much. Uh, we did sink some of their cowboys, so we might have killed a few thousand. Just looking at other countries who might have fought here. Uh, Britain, we haven't seen them yet. 603,000 casualties, we did 53,500 of that to them. And last is the Italians here. Uh, France did the majority of casualties to them. We killed 87.8. So not as good of a kill death ratio. Still good. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. It's definitely uh, not the same as what we did to Poland. Yeah, still not bad. 88,000 casualties for, for 13. Alright, so we've done 14% of the total war participation. France is 17%. Let's kind of see how this will work with the peace treaty. Uh, Soviets are 44% because of the large number of casualties they've taken. Yeah, the majority of that is from... Oh, well, I guess they have a lot from occupation as well. All right, so if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.